Hi, I'm Rudy Maxa. Join me in restaurant tour Daisuke Utagawa as we tour Tokyo in search of the ingredients and hard work behind sushi. So where are we right now? Well, we're at Uchiai, my favorite sushi restaurant in Tokyo. Um, this place specializes in what we call Edomai sushi. Edomai means in front of Edo. Edo is the old term for Tokyo. And originally, it was the fish that was taken from the Edo Bay or Tokyo Bay. Yeah. Oh, that's the tuna, that's good. Mm. There, there's a Japanese word uh, called kodawari. And that means the effort you put in and also the knowledge that you have of your craft to make it really good. So I suggest we take a little trip around Tokyo, go see their work, and by the time we're finished, you might taste this a little bit differently. I love coming back here. Well, you know, without Tsukiji, there'll be no sushi as True. we see it today. Yeah. I mean, these, it's all about these fishmongers. They, they really strive to get the best from all over the world. And then they want to make sure the fish they've gotten is sold to the best guys who know how to pull it out. They really care who buys it? Oh, absolutely. It's not just a business for them. It is their kodawari. So the work that they have done, they want to pass it on to somebody who understands it and who puts their own kodawari and then goes to the customer. Rice is everything in Japan. Back in the old days, rice was a commodity. People were taxed in rice. Rice equaled wealth. Along with the soil and the water, it takes a lot of hard work to produce great rice. He just told me that he knows the farmer works so hard to make good rice. Now he has to be part of the process and he has to make sure that he pulls the best from this by polishing it the right way. God, this is just so comforting. Especially for us Japanese. This is really the heart of Japanese food. One of the subtle but important ingredients in sushi is the vinegar that gets mixed with the rice. Edomai sushi uses a particular form of red vinegar. It's made from the lees of sake, the residual yeast and other particles left over from sake production. It really, this is like elixir of vinegar. And this is some major irrigation work. This is very, very impressive. Is it difficult to grow wasabi? Well, he's being very modest. He's, he's saying it's really uh, working with the nature or sometimes fighting with the nature. Mm. So I wouldn't say it's easy. Is that too much? No, that's more. More, yeah. more. There like so? Go. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. Whoa. That is wasabi. Whoa. Whoa. And <laughs> right to the, right to the top Ooh, of the head. Oh, Beautiful. Oh, man. So now you've taken this sushi journey around Tokyo. Mm -hmm. What do you really taste? Well, uh, I taste the sea. I taste earth. I taste the rivers. I taste human pride. That's haiku right there. I've been telling you, sushi is poetry. And frankly, I'd like to have some more. We can do that. Right on time. Hamaguri-san. <laughs>